Today, you tell this to the children, not who are praying, who are playing. Playing, not praying, playing. And they don't respond, and they don't care, and they don't take heed, and they don't comply. And then they tell you long stories and long lectures and philosophical presentations about uh, the awkward situation in every other nation because you can't arrive at your destination if you're in a state of fermentation. What's the name of the, of the man who had the soma? The one whose mother called him while he was praying from, from Bani Israel. He said, Ummi, he said, Ayya Rabb, Ummi or Salah, which one do I choose? My mom or the Salah? And then he would continue praying, he ignored his mom. And then his mom called him a second time and a third time, after which he made dua that he doesn't die until he sees the faces of prostitutes. A Juraj, Ahsanti Abn Battuta, Ahsant, Ahsanti Ya Sheikh, Wahshallah. Juraj, man was just chilling, worshipping his Lord, Yani, Yani, handling his bit, low key, low key, low profile, low key, Yani, Ma Yibra, La Mashakil, Walla Waja Dimar, huh? And next thing you know, a woman comes and claims that he was the father of the child and the people revolt against him and they destroy his sawma and yani the man went through some stuff because his mom made dua against him. And why did his mom make dua against him? Because he kept praying instead of listening to her. Not because he was on the Xbox. Oh, not because he was on the PC. Not because he was doing something else. He was praying. And he gave precedence to the salah over his mom. And his mom made dua against him and Allah replied. Allah responded to the dua of his mother. And the man went from being a devout worshipper to being accused and slandered of adultery and fornication and zina. And a child being attributed to him that he was not, uh, uh, you know, he was free from. And his home of worship was destroyed. And his life turned upside down because his mom made a dua against him because he chose to pray instead of obey his mom. That's why the scholars say, if you're praying a voluntary prayer and your mom calls you, you leave the prayer and you respond to your mom, okay? You leave the prayer and you respond to your parents. Today, you tell this to the children, not who are praying, who are playing. Playing, not praying, playing. And they don't respond, and they don't care, and they don't take heed, and they don't comply. And then they tell you long stories, and long lectures, and philosophical presentations about uh, the awkward situation in every other nation. Because you can't arrive at your destination if you're in a state of fermentation. Yeah? That's what it is. It's a reminder for those who have a heart and a mind that understands. My advice to kids, y'all need to be careful, man. Lest one day your mom and dad snap and make a dua against you and it will end your life. And I will not forget that brother. I forgot his name. But I haven't forgotten him because I met him in person. A brother here in Saudi whose uh, uh, father made dua against him because he was smoking. And then he jumped into a pool and he landed on his head in the pool and he became paralyzed. Paralyzed from neck down. Can't do nothing. Can't use his arms. Can't use his legs. And obviously it was a wake-up call for him. And since then, he would go around giving da'wah and reminding the people about the rights of Allah and about the rights of the parents. And the irony of all ironies is that the parents from whom he was running 
and whom he was diso disobeying, they, they turn out to be the ones who had to look after him in a state of complete decapitation. Complete inability to move. They clean him, even though he's a grown man. When he, go to the, he goes to the bathroom, if he goes to the bathroom, I don't know how they did it. They feed him everything. Everything. I know him in person. I met him in person when I was involved in Dawah here. I, I, I can look up his name somewhere on my phone. These are true stories, brothers and sisters. That's why I'm telling you, man, don't mess around with your parents, yo. Some of you take these matters way too lightly. You think it's a joke until it hits you. So please have mercy on your soul. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with friends and family.